Okay, so we often need to count intervals longer than what can be represented by a single counter or we need to generate multi-digit display uh, like in labs. So one of the examples we are doing here today is using a 100 Hz clock, uh, implement a counter that counts from 0 to 10 seconds with 0 0.01 seconds resolution. Uh, in this example, I'm not going to talk about how to generate a 100 hertz clock because I think by now you should already know it. And there's a tutorial that I uh, that I made for you guys on YouTube. Uh, what I want to talk about is like how the switching uh, takes place from one LED seven, seven second display to another. So you're basically this is a second, this is a tenth of a second, and this is a hundredth of a second. Okay. So we'll see how this thing actually work. How we wire them up to function uh, like this. So we are going to create a, a cascade of three counters right here. So going back to here. So we have a clock, okay? So say this is a four bit com binary counter and we need three of those. Why we need three of those? Because we are displaying seconds, uh, tenth of a second and hundredth of a second. So we need three. And why we need a four bit binary counter? Why not zero, why not two or three? Because on a one seven segment display, you can go from zero to nine, right? And the binary code for nine is one zero zero one. So that's four bits. So therefore we need a uh, four bit. So we have a clock here. We have a clock here. We have a clock here. Here. Okay, uh, usually we know for the binary counter the basically the input is the clock. Okay, usually. So, say so this is your 100 hertz clock. Um, and then we usually have reset and chip enable. Okay, what reset does, it goes back to zero. And chip enable is you have to have your chip enable set to one before it can count. Correct? Um, how many outputs we're going to have here for each counter? Because it's a 4-bit counter, so it has there has to be 4, right? So say those are uh, Q4, Q3, Q2, Q1, right? And similarly over here. All right. The interesting part here is when this goes to nine, we want to enable this counter right here, right? Initially, it should, everything should be displaying, it should be like this, right? Okay, uh, this, this binary counter is attached to this seven segment, this binary counter is attached to this segment, and this binary counter is attached to this. So whenever the clock arrives, we want this counter to go, to start from zero and start incrementing by one every time the clock arrives at a frequency of 100 hertz. Uh, and then uh, once it reaches nine, it should reset itself, correct? And this should be enabled, correct? So how would we do that? What kind of a logic we can apply at the output? So using a gate, we can do that. And that would be an end gate. If we use an end gate right here, okay. Uh, binary uh, nine makes a code of what? Nine is one, zero, zero, one, correct? So one, zero, zero, one. Q4 is connected to this. Q3 is connected to this. Q2 is connected to this. Q1 is connected to this. Now, only by making a small change, if I add a bubble here, if I add a bubble here, the outputs, the inputs going into end gate will be all ones then, correct? Once you reach a nine, which will make a code of 1001, and because you got bubbles here, so it will invert these inputs, so you get 1111, and we know when all the inputs are high, it is going to generate output, which is going to be one, correct? Make sense, guys? If I connect this to this reset right here, what would happen? 
and this was chip enable right here and chip enable is so this chip is enabled already counter starts zero goes to one here two three four five six seven eight nine once it reaches nine that is when the output of this end gate goes to one you can try other combinations zero one two three four five six seven eight it will never be one it will only be one when it makes a sequence of one zero zero one that is when it resets itself so which would mean once it displays nine the next state will be zero correct okay okay and also at the same time when it goes to one and this reset itself we want this to be enabled so maybe i can connect this thing with this chip enable also correct okay all right uh, and again i'm going to need another end gate here right now when this reaches 9 we want to we want to reset it to 0 right how should be the wiring where the output of end gate should go yes to the reset okay to the reset itself anything else the enable to the next and enter the enable of the next one okay okay um, just for the protection of this circuit uh, this block diagram I'll also include CE and just make it an end gate okay uh, what I'm seeing here say I have this end gate right here this chip enable is one of the inputs and then I have this as an, a second input which would still work right correct which would still work all right uh, so once this is reset at the same time we want our this chip enable to and this will then start uh, you know this will be enabled it will start counting and again once it reaches 9 we want it to reset correct And this goes to zero so in other words you know we'll start off with zero 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 point zero one zero point zero two goes all the way to zero point zero nine okay and then this is initially this will go to one zero two zero three zero and this is the seconds right here initially everything is zero zero okay so if you so if you think of something you want to make something like this and you want to implement it on basis three board what do you need well you need one module for a slow clock which is 100 hertz we do need uh, one, two, three, uh, basically one four bit binary counter, and you can instantiate three times, right? And add those assign function, three of those in your top module. Uh, what else you need? Uh, you need to display your stuff onto the seven segment, so you'll need a seven segment display module. Uh, and in, because you will be displaying three different things on three different seven segments, so you can use a MUX correct so you need a mux you need a four bit binary counter you need a slow clock and you need a bcd uh, seven segment display these four four modules and then you can make this project 